everybody and welcome to Storm Raids. Today I'm going to be doing my um, Tis the Season-a-thon uh, TBR. It's a Christmas readathon, and it goes from today to December 6th, so November 30th to December 6th, I believe. It's hosted by Book Heather from Bookable and somebody else, but I don't remember who that person is, but I'll link the information down below. And I'm getting this up a little bit late, but you know, with the holidays and just now deciding that I was going to participate because the books that I'm wanting to read in December, some of them I could fit in with the prompt. So I thought, well, since I can fit them in and I'm not going to have to try to squeeze other books in, I would go ahead and do it. And I'm not a very Christmas oriented person, you know, got my Grinch shirt on and stuff and um, tried to put some cute earrings, but they will not stay where they're supposed to their little candies and that's about all the decorations I got <laughs> but here we are and uh most of my books for this readathon are not Christmassy themed but they fit the prompts so with the first one is to read a holiday themed book and so I do have uh Jingle All the Way by Debbie Maycomer I always try to read her Christmas romances I like them She's probably one of my favorite contemporary romance authors, so I don't mind reading her Christmas books. I don't read a lot of Christmassy books. I think I do have one more this uh, month that I have to read, but other than that, just the one Christmas. I don't have much. Anyway, this one is about, I think, a girl named, a lady named Everly, and she's stressed out at her work, and her boss makes her take December off, so she has to uh, go... She's going to go, well, she's going to go visit her family, I think, but then her vengeful assistant, so she must not be a very nice person, her vengeful assistant uh, books her on a two-week cruise to the rainforest, and so she thinks she's going to be going to a beach. Instead, she ends up on a boat in the rainforest with no Wi-Fi, and so that sounds like that could be pretty fun, I think, anyway. So I'm kind of excited to get to that one. And then the second one is read a book that you meant to get this to this year, but you just didn't get to it. And I have a lot of those, but one of them that I can't believe that I haven't got to is one of my favorite cozy mystery series. And this one is A Murder at the Bayou Boneyard, and it's by Ellen Byron. And it is a Cajun country mystery, and this is number six, I believe, in the series. And... um it's kind of funny because it's set in Halloween time, and I'm still reading it for a Christmas readathon. So it's kind of funny, but anyway, it's about uh, Maggie. She, uh, her, and her family run a B and B, and she also does uh, another job where she is a docent at another plantation. And um, anyway, there, there's this guy that's coming in, buying up all the real estate, and making these rent, rent my digs. And it's taken away from the B&Bs, and so all the B&Bs around have gotten together, and they're doing this, like, spooky uh, spooky night thing or whatever at their B&Bs where they can come and uh, learn a lot about the spooky stuff that happens in um, Louisiana where they're at. And I love this series. It's a lot of fun. Um, I really love Maggie and her boyfriend, Bo, and his little boy and just all the characters are just they're just fun it's it's really fun um my favorite character on the whole thing is the animal which you'll see on the cover and that's gopher the basset hound he's one of my favorites and everything so i can't wait to read this i don't know why i put it off well i do know i had so many other readathons going on that i just didn't fit it in and so i've been wanting to read it so i'm glad i'm going to get a chance to read it now and so yeah got that Number three is to read a book with lights on the cover, and there, again, I have another cozy mystery, and this is a Broadcast for Murder by J.C. Eaton, and there is a Christmas cactus, and there's some lights back here and over here, so it does have lights on the cover. Whether it's centered in Christmas or not, I don't know, because the last book I read in this series, it had uh, the, the dog, which is another one of my favorite street men. He was dressed up as like a, a leprechaun or whatever, but there was hardly anything about uh, March and, and anything in it. I mean, it had several different holidays, so therefore I don't know if this is really centered around too much Christmas. But it is about uh, Sophie's mother, Harriet, 
She's going to be a star, at least that's how the Sun City West retirees describe her chance to be a host on a live radio program for her book club's Booked for Murder Mystery Hour on Arizona's KSCY. But instead of chatting about charming cozies, Harriet ends up screaming bloody murder over the airwaves after discovering the body of Howard, well, the station's programming director. And so, of course, Harriet will be getting her involved in all kinds of stuff. And sorry if you can hear the dog downstairs. My dad went somewhere and his dog is whining because of it. So sorry about that. And uh, yeah, I love this series. It is a lot of fun. I highly recommend this series. I believe this is number seven. It's either number six or number seven, but yeah. Can't believe I haven't gotten to this one either. And so this was a priority read for me. So I'm glad it had lights on it. And so the fourth prompt is to read a diverse book, and I have a middle grade book that comes out next year. I think it comes back, comes out in January, I think. Don't quote me on it, but I think it does. And um, it is about kids. <laughs> I don't really know what it's about. It, I know it's about a little black girl and maybe a friend, and it's about friendship courage and black girl magic and that's pretty much all I know I will know more about it after I read it but I just it looked cute I didn't really read a whole lot about the synopsis and I can't remember what I read so there you go anyway gonna try that one did I say what it was called root magic by Eden Royce I can't believe I, I think I forgot I'm just, it's just one of those days Anyway, the next one is to read a cozy read. Number five, read a cozy read, and I am just going to double up with uh, one of these or maybe the Christmas one. They're all cozy kind of reads for me. I love my cozy mysteries and a cozy read, a cozy mystery. So just double up with that, and there you go. And that's all the prompts for this, and I'm hoping to get to all of them, but I will be concentrating on at least two. I do want to uh, read the holiday book and read my uh, Murder, in the Murder in the Bayou Boneyard. Those are the two that I really want to get to. If I get to these other ones, I'll be happy, but those are the two I'm going to concentrate on. Anyway, hope you liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.